So now that I found the volume of the shape manually, as you can see, my final answer was 177 centimeters cubed. I'm going to show you graphically how that looks, and I'm going to prove myself right using this graphing calculator here. So I'm going to plug in this formula right here, which is this is the formula, the equation of the shape. So first, turn this on. Um, make sure that the mode is on the radian because if it's on degrees, you'll get a different answer. See, I have that on radians now. So I'm gonna go to y equals. Well, even though I don't have, even though it's in, I only have a y here, I'm gonna replace it with x. It'll get the same answer. So now I'm gonna start that out with parentheses. I'm gonna start with 1 8. That needs its own parentheses times, since I have no y, I'm using x right here. So it's, that's 1 8 times x plus 3.5. That's a part of the thing. And the whole thing is square, if you remember here, so we can't leave that out. The whole thing is square times pi. Pi is right here. You put pi in its own parentheses too. So now I'm going to do second trace because I'm tracing it, remember, from 0 to 4 here. Go down to. 7 here, this is f of x, d of x, so that's the type of formula we're using. I'm going to enter. Gotta let that graph itself. So the lower limit is 0. The upper limit is 4, because it's from 0 to 4. Click enter. The answer you get is 176.9. And if you round that 9, then you get 177, and that is my final answer, 177 centimeters cubed. And that is how I prove myself right in this.